Monarchs are an astonishing type of butterfly that migrate over 3,000 miles across three countries every year. These butterflies travel from northern locations in North America down to warmer climates in Mexico for the winter. In early spring, monarchs leave Mexico and begin a journey north that will take place over several generations. It can take three or four generations to return to northern sites in the United States and Canada. On this long, multi-generational journey, monarch butterflies are looking for something very specific, milkweed plants. Monarch butterflies and milkweed plants have a special relationship. Milkweed plants are the only plants monarch caterpillars will eat. As a result of this highly specialized caterpillar diet, female monarch butterflies will only lay their eggs on milkweed plants. This makes milkweed patches critically important for migrating monarch butterflies. They need to find milkweed along their migration route, or else the next generation will not be able to continue the journey north. When you become a Budburst Community Scientist, you can help us answer important questions about monarch butterflies. Making observations about milkweed plants and monarch butterflies will help scientists better understand the kind of habitat that is most important for monarch survival. Some scientists suspect that monarch butterflies prefer to lay their eggs on non-flowering milkweed plants because these plants may have fewer predators, like spiders and ants. You can support monarch conservation by helping Budburst answer our research question. Do monarchs prefer to lay their eggs on flowering or non-flowering milkweed stems? Let's learn how to collect data to answer this question and help save monarch butterflies. First, find a milkweed plant. Milkweed plants often grow in patches, so you may find many milkweed plants growing close together. You can collect data on many different species of milkweed, whatever kind you have in your location. It's easiest to make an observation on a species of plant you already know, but if you aren't sure, we can help. When you take a photo of your plant, our technology will give you some potential species suggestions. Once you've correctly identified your plant, you'll start making your observation by telling us what stage the flowers are in. You might see plants before they begin to flower. Just tell Budburst that there are no flowers blooming. The plant is in an early flowering stage if only a few flowers have bloomed. If most of the flowers are in bloom, your plant is in a middle flowering stage. When most of the flowers have wilted or fallen off, the plant is in a late flowering stage. If your milkweed plant is blooming, you will count the number of flower clusters on your plant. For example, this stem has five flower clusters. If the milkweed plants belong to you, you can conduct a miniature version of our experiment in your own backyard. Cut the flower clusters off half the plants in your patch to see if you find more eggs and caterpillars on flowering or non-flowering milkweed stems. Plants that have had their flower clusters removed are called clipped or non-flowering. Once you have documented the milkweed plant's flowering stage, it's time to look for monarch eggs and caterpillars. You will often find monarch eggs on the underside of the milkweed leaves. Count the number of eggs you find on each plant. You will also count the number of caterpillars you find on each plant and document how big the caterpillars are. When caterpillars grow, they go through five different growth stages, which are called instars. When you submit data for Budburst, all you have to do is determine if the caterpillars are in the first instar or if the caterpillars are in a later instar. Caterpillars in instar one are pale green and do not have the characteristic black, yellow, and white stripes that we expect to see in the later instar stages. They are between two to six millimeters in length and do not have visible tentacles yet. You might see small black bumps where the tentacles will soon grow. Once the caterpillars enter the second instar and beyond, they will have distinctive black, yellow, and white stripes, visible tentacles in the back and the front of their bodies, and they will be over six millimeters in length. If you don't see any eggs or caterpillars, don't worry. Simply tell Budburst that you didn't find any on your plant. This is still important data. 
You will also document any predatory insects and spiders you see on the plant, such as ants or milkweed aphids. Along with the monarch egg and caterpillar data, you'll tell Budburst where and when you made your observation and how many milkweed plants are in your patch. You can send data to Budburst via our mobile app or using a computer. Download the Budburst app via your phone's app store and start an observation by snapping a photo. Visit budburst.org to learn more and log observations online. Simply make a Budburst account and add your first observation. With your help, we can save monarch butterflies by protecting their habitat and ensuring they have a safe journey year after year.